The people who were killed were part of a Mormon fundamentalist community. They fled to Mexico when the U.S. outlawed polygamy. A Lake Oswego woman was born into that and says there's always been a culture of violence. Lindsay Nadrich talked with her today in Lake Oswego, and Lindsay, she just ran away from that community when she was 15. Yeah, Ruth Warner is her name. She lives here now, but her grandfather founded the LeBaron community in Chihuahua, Mexico, where these families now live. Her father was murdered by his brother, who started an offshoot of the church. She said it's tough to see that community still dealing with violence. It's kind of sad, actually, and very heartbreaking that it's come back to my family's life there in LeBaron with the drug cartels, uh, the incredible violence. And again, just being there 13 years ago, I was afraid. It's, it was really scary. Ruth wrote a book called The Sound of Gravel that details what it was like to grow up in and escape that community. Her brother still lives there and she went back to visit in 2008 for a wedding. She says things have changed a lot since she left. Going back, she remembers seeing police and soldiers with guns everywhere, but says violence with the drug cartels is now worse than ever. Renita Miller, who died in the attack, is her niece. She's devastated by what happened and hopes her family members will leave. Because I'm one of the ones who ran away, it's for me, it's like, well, you guys need to move. Like, you can't, are they going to take on the drug cartels? I mean, I don't know what the conversations are going on around that, you know, and we still don't even know what the motivations were. Um, and it's terrifying. It is so scary.